It's kind of a shame that the room of requirements is so far away, because I don't like fast traveling, because loading times are pretty long. Um, and I don't mind not fast traveling, but it, it would be nice if I just wanted to go back to school. I would always fast travel back to the room of requirements and then go from there. And then uh, keep up with my potions and, uh, and plants and stuff. But yeah, it's kind of annoying now. But yeah, since we're so close to... Um, hello? What are you doing here? <laughs> since we're so close to Professor Sharp, let's see if we can... If we can um, Continue his quest. And may some brew a potion while we're at it, right? Have you finished your assignments? I sure did. I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. Mm -hmm. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. If you say so. All went well. I'm always so shiny in this room. I don't know what it is. <laughs> yes, sir. Of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. Great. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. I guess. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. <laughs> now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. What does Defindo even do? Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're dangerous? not paying attention. Oh boy. Let's see. A A X well, X Y A X X Y. Got him. I did it. Hmm. Very good. Thank you. It seems you have a grasp on Defindo. I would encourage you once again to practice here in the classroom. For your sake, and that of everyone else. Okay. Defendo. Slashes objects and enemies from afar, dealing considerable damage. From afar. Okay. Very good. Actually, let's get our potion. <laughs> let's make a new one. Very good. Uh, here we go. It's a pleasure to have a student who actually heeds instruction. <laughs> So how difficult is, is it to combine these? Okay, not too shabby. Defendo can be versatile but dangerous. Good to see you continuing to practice. Yeah, no problem. Professor Sharp, do you have a moment? Depends on how you intend to use it. <laughs> okay. Uh, could you tell me a little about your time as an Auror? I saw an Aura badge on your desk oh, yeah. and was wondering if you could tell me more about your time as an Aura. Mm. Observant. <laughs> I suppose I could indulge you for a moment. Spent years tracking down reprobates who dealt in artifacts of dark magic origin. Hmm. Sounds dangerous. That seems a bit more dangerous than teaching potions. Often, yes. Though, I've seen some remarkably creative concoctions <laughs> brewed in my class. I enjoyed a great deal of success as an aura. Really? However, success can make one complacent if one's confidence is not tempered by humility. Mm. One overstep in battle changed everything. Is that the scar? May I ask what happened? Yes, well, I suppose it's a matter of record. My partner and I had tracked a suspect to a harbor in Scarborough. Trying to smuggle shrunken heads of all things. <laughs> okay. I had deduced that he was working alone. Oh. I was mistaken. And they knew we were coming. Oh. From the moment we stepped onto the ship, well, I barely escaped with my life. My partner wasn't so lucky. Oh, no. Uh, I, I suppose being an aura is dreadfully dangerous. I'm sorry. <sighs> it is at that. But survival is not guaranteed for any of us. No. Pay attention. And not just within my class. This is what I must impress upon you all. A potion and a poison may be a mere breath apart. Until you consume hmm. the wrong one. Well said, Professor. Okay, I'm back in the room of requirements. Let's see if we can identify some gear. I don't know quite how this works. Oh, it, it just immediately does it. That's fine. Thank you. Great. Was I brewing anything? I sure was. Um, I don't know what I want to brew, honestly. <laughs> Let's go with this one. And then my potions here should be ready. 
so nice. Just get some random potions. And all my plants should be ready. Not brands. Mm, mallow sweets. Litany. Oh, no, no, no. Yes, and... Uh, oh, yeah. Flux seed. Whatever that does. And some shrivel figs. Lovely. So let's check out our gear. Uh, got some new gloves. Quite a bit better. Jeez. There's a blue thingy in the thingy. Oh yeah, and cruelty. Increased damage with Crucio. Huh. Interesting. And uh, I guess we'll, we'll find about we'll find out about that later. This one also have a, has a thingy. <laughs> I guess that's the reason why why, why they're um, special. This one also has a thingy. And it's better. Yeah. Great. This scarf isn't better. And this outfit also isn't better. There we go. Fine and dandy. I wish there was a salesman at Hogwarts. So I could uh, sell some stuff here. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, we have this now. Okay. Oh no. I didn't realize I could do that. Repair <laughs> Over here. Hi. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. What First, is it? let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, Very you took good. the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I, I did, <laughs> but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Mm. Not even the professors know about this place. Really? Where are we going? This way. There's a secret passage just here. Really? It's well disguised. Where are we going? Do we want to know? Ooh, I see something on the map. Okay. Here we go. Huh. Nice. Oh, he's not coming with. How did you find this place? My friend, oh. Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. I'm we used stone. to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. Oh, okay. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. Why are you sharing this with me then? He's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. Hmm. We've never been caught. Revelio. Let's have a look around here, shall we? Oh yeah, there's a chest here. And a chest here. Very good, very good. Ah, I see another chest. Not very good gear, but at least I can sell it. Maybe I can buy a broomstick eventually. <laughs> So, what do we do here? I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No hmm. idea how, though. Hmm. Ominous was born ah. blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Hmm. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. Oh. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. Yeah, me I've neither. I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. <laughs> he has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? 
His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar oh, yeah. Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. I know Slytherin. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Mm -hmm. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Forbidden? Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. That's ridiculous. It does sound dangerous. I don't want to. I want to. I don't want to learn any dark magic. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like ominous. He <laughs> frowns upon using forbidden spells. Yeah, me too. Although he did enjoy learning this one. Hmm. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. Hmm. I can teach it to you safely here. Well, it may take a while to get the feel for it. This is Mimic um, my wand movement. The incantation is confringo. Confringo. Very well. What was I gonna say? This is the main quest, so I don't really have a choice but to learn it. But. <laughs> I'd rather not. I don't. I don't know if it's an actual dark spell, forbidden spell. I don't know. We'll see. We're gonna have to learn it anyway. Got it. You're getting it. Mm -hmm. Ready to actually try it out? I guess. Stick to the targets. Though. Sorry. This one. I have so many red spells now. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Oh, what did you want to... Have a go oh. at those candelabras. Candelabra. Both have their uses. Oh, okay. But I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Confringo! Aha! Uh -huh. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. <laughs> you'll get used to it. That's it! Sweet. I think I've got it. Well done. Thank you. I have to say, I enjoyed that. <laughs> the first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. No doubt. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. <laughs> I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. Hmm. The blast does heat things up. <laughs> I see how you lost your eyebrows. <laughs> You'll get used to it. And Ominous and I used to practice down here for hours. The Undercroft was our retreat. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry no. about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Sure. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian. Uncle Solomon. Hmm. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. <laughs> well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. Okay. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Oh, yeah, pages. Might it have something <laughs> to do with Victor Rookwood? Not really. He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. <laughs> Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? Mm -hmm. To Gringotts? Yeah. Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. Mm -hmm. I don't know... I don't feel like I'm really good friends with this guy yet, so... I don't know if I should be telling him the truth. I don't feel like I should. The book I found in the restricted section was missing some pages. <laughs> That's about it. Pity. Didn't think you'd disappoint me with so vague an answer. You're a Slytherin, I, I don't trust you. Rookwood and Ranrock after you. A bit more time practicing the blasting curse is in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Sure. 
When nice. I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Good. Hello, Sebastian. Oh. Wait. Uh oh. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Mm -hmm. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions oh, yeah. class. You're the new fifth year. Yep. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? I can't tell. I want to be honest with this guy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sebastian. Actually, Sebastian brought me there, but he made yeah. it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That Especially rat. To you. you breathe a word about this place <laughs> to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. Yeah. My father is friends with the headmaster, and I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. You're a dick. I thought you'd be way more friendly. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your undercroft. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. Please. Why should I trust you? I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Well, why don't I you just trust him then? I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need He was getting help. me into trouble, dude. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. You're a dick. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Okay. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. I will. So we can finally uh, do this. Oh yeah. How do I get there though? <laughs> can I? Can I? Dang it. Can I do this? I can. I didn't think that would work. Nice. And that means we might be able to equip some new gear. Although, do we have anything that's better? No. Well, we have one more uh, talent point to spend. Do I want to do Confringo or Defendu? Let's go for this one for now. So Professor Garlic has given me some uh, extra assignments, so I'm uh, looking forward to doing those. We need to buy some stuff here from Beatrice Green. Just a minute. Oh, hi. I can deal with you, just like um, this. This. There we go. Uh -huh. I need money anyway. This might buy me a new broom. Uh, let's see. Hello. <laughs> Although I'm gonna well, spend some money here, I guess. We show you some of what's available. Do, I, do you have Mandric? Ah, oh, that's a lot of money. I don't have that much money. I guess I could sell all this. Now I have some more money. But not enough to buy all... Oh my god, it's so expensive. I'm gonna buy the Mandric seeds. Then I still have enough to buy a broomstick. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can uh -huh. tell you'll go far. Okay. Such a wee bairn gain a thrash into a troll! What? Oh, I can't believe okay. it! If you say so. Uh, <laughs> Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? So yeah, I do have a venomous ten tentacula, I believe. So I just need to grow a mandrake and then use it. It should be doable. Let's see if we can find the broomstick shop. <laughs> Actually, I might be lucky here. Yes! Some more pocket money for me. Maybe I can <coughs> buy some more seats now. Aha! I got another page. Uh, these treats explode when eaten, although they are unlikely to cause serious injury. One is advised to chew carefully. Exploding bonbons. Can I have one? Oh, look at this. That's some uh, magic cotton candy. It's pretty cool. Can you eat it? It doesn't look very tasty, to be honest. I'm exploring a little in Hogsmeade here, and somebody wants to talk to me. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. 
talking to myself. I'm Clementine Willetsy, charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. Mm -hmm. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Mm -hmm. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. I don't know if it's very irrational. It's <laughs> silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes. Mm -hmm. If you wouldn't mind. No? So, what did you hear about the forest that's so dangerous? What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously mm. beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Okay. Ugh. I think Trust both me, happened, you actually. You hear that so, uh, at 11 years old. It sticks with you. Yeah. I'll see if I can They're find very them. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. Okay. I hope to see you soon. Well, soon? I don't know. Perhaps. And now, finally, can we do it? You're back. Nice to see you again. Thank you. I finally saved up some money. And we can buy... Oh, let, let's see. That item is of the highest quality. I kind of like this one, to be honest. I don't like the fiery stuff and the saddle. I don't like the saddle bags. I don't like the saddle and the, sh the very... The harsh corners here. <laughs> the harsh angles. And the lantern. This one... What? Oh. That item is of the highest quality. I think I'm gonna go for this one. Yes. Purchase. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Will I? Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, mm -hmm. they all have their limitations. Oh. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go sure. on. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. Mm -hmm. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, mm -hmm. if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. Okay. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report okay. back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. No problem. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, oh, no. Imelda Rays, is using <laughs> abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for Ooh. the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, mm -hmm. I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? I'll give it a go. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. Oh, wow. And I can give you a special price. Great. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Mm -hmm. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda oh, Rays okay. will sort you out. Mm -hmm. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. I will. Oh, I think I got all the field guide pages in Hogsmeade. Sweet, a fully complete um, category. And I guess I never collected this one. There we go. Nice. You have entered an area that allows flight. Press LB, then tab B. Oh, yeah. Awesome. How do I do this again? Give me... Toggle flight speech. Oh, I can... Oh, yeah. Awesome. Sweet. Alrighty. Let's see. Got some new potions. It's so nice. <laughs> uh, are these done? Yeah. So, uh, let's see. Um, a brute. Can I get a... A... Mandrake. Small plant. Is it a small plant? Hmm. Maybe in that case... Maybe in that case we can put them here. One. Oh, how many seeds did I buy? Two. Or do I have infinite seeds now? Three. 
three mandrakes. Nice. And then once those are done, I do have, uh, yeah, I do have venomous tentacula. Once I have some mandrakes, I can use them in battle, and then we can go to Professor Garlic. And we have so many quests at the moment. I think that's what I want to do first, and then we could go into the um, Forbidden Forest, find some stuff. We could fly against Imelda, which I'm kind of scared for. I don't know um, how well I'm going to do with that. We could travel a whole bunch. Um, yeah, we could give back the, the Venomous Tentacula. Yeah, lots to do, lots to do. But for now, I'm gonna keep it at that. I'm gonna have these plants grow. Um, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.